What is going on guys? Sean here again, Fit Brother. This is another episode of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. Last time we defeated the soul sand that came to the fucking planet Raditz. One of my favorite characters. I don't know why he's not back in the series, but he's dead. And now we finally move on to the next couple of sands showing up. Vegeta and Nappa. Oh man, fucking hilarious. Team 4 Star, they knew what the fuck they were doing. Uh, I just wish that Vegeta was back to his evil kind of like darker ways. He's very kind now. He's very more calm and temper headed. Goku's the one acting like a douche where he's just constantly wants to fight left and right. He's constantly challenging stuff. Vegeta is like he's they basically switch places in Super at this point where Vegeta's the one who's just chilling back and stuff and Goku's the one who's constantly out looking for like trouble and it's, it's just it's fucking crazy. Also Raditz like pretty much blasted Goku to the face. That was fucking hilarious. Raditz is now dead. Krillin got fucked up. Yeah, that was pretty um, impactful first episode. Also, Piccolo showed up to save Gohan the moment he got kidnapped. Automatically proves that, Go that Goku is not Gohan's real dad. Piccolo is. Oh man, let's go. The Sands arrive. Begin stage. What's it left to the side? 10, 16, 11, 12. Is that the dates these things were created or what? Eh, who knows. The Sands arrive. Oh man, does anyone else, does anyone know how to make crystallized, like, Dragon Balls? There's just under a year before the two Saiyans arrive on Earth. Each spent their days practicing, with Gohan training under Piccolo, Krillin under Kami, and Goku under King Kai. Yeah, it's goddamn, this has like that nice nostalgic feel to it, the music especially. Oh fuck. But what I was saying there was like, I really wish they, I've seen that they do sell like little miniature version of the Dragon Balls in real life, but I want like the full size ones. Like, you know how Goku's four star one just chilling on a pillow in like his room. That's what I want. I just like, I want one of them at least and that'd be fucking cool. But, oh well, I have no skills to make such a thing and no one I know has the skills to make such a thing. So fuck! The time passed them by quickly and before they knew it, the battle was upon them. At 11.43 in the morning, the Saiyans broke through the Earth's atmosphere. Eh, if it was 11.34, it would have said hell, and that would have been a little bit symbolic, right? Ah, I'm fucking stupid. God damn it. If you just add in sound effects, like, you guys, you guys know what sound effects I'm thinking of when these guys crash land. It's just, it's fucking hilarious. I'm thinking of it in my head this entire time. They call this place Earth, right? It's not as bad as I was expecting. First, we need to find the one who killed Raditz, and then find those Dragon Balls. Okay, so right here, Vegeta's voice compared to Piccolo's, it sounds very, very different. They're both unique in their own way, but these recent episodes of anything, even like, um, the movie and stuff, Piccolo and Vegeta's voices, they don't sound at all different. They sound very much alike, which is what it's very sad to know because I can understand that Chris Abbott is getting definitely older and stuff. He can't really do the voices like he could at a younger age, but god damn it, man. It just like that's what makes me sad to know that some that if anything ever happens, these voice actors, that th their memories will only live on through their characters. And if he keeps doing this, then we won't remember him as like two different characters. They'll just be kind of like the same one. But oh well, let's go on. Also, he does the voice of um, Zoro from One Piece. Fucking awesome. Okay, Nappa. Let's go have some fun. They're finally here. There's nothing to fear. We are nothing like we were a year ago. Especially you, Gohan. You finally got, like, hair. You've chopped off tails of dinosaurs and ate it like nothing. You've had friend dinosaurs that you tried to save, but they died saving you. A robot that cooked you mushrooms. I think you got high off those mushrooms. I'm not sure. What else did he do? Oh, yeah, you saved a bunch of orphans from, like, a tidal wave or, like, some school... Oh, well, actually, you didn't actually save them. They all got taken to the orphanage anyway, and that one guy who got the car saved you and sent you off somewhere else. They would have taken Gohan as an orphan. I forgot that. Huh. Yeah, Kid Gohan, you better not sound like Kai. I swear to fucking God. Krillin! Hey, good to see you, Piccolo. What's this? It was just... Oh. Wow, <laughs> Piccolo... Oh, yeah, Piccolo's not friends with them yet, so... What are you doing here? Did you come to get in our way? Don't talk like that. Come on, I might not be much, but I've gotten stronger too. Wow, you've really grown, Gohan. You look like your dad when he was a kid. Nope, Goten does. He's gonna claim all that shit. But that must have been tough being trained by Piccolo, right? Yeah, but Piccolo is much nicer than I thought he would be. Yeah, he gave me two apples and actually made sure I'm alive. He, well, I think he abandoned you for a good while before he checked up on you. Enough talk. They're here. Oh, shit. Uh, literally a stare down like this. 
Ha ha, here they are. I see, it looks like they were waiting on us. Just to be clear, tell us, why have you come here? Our main goal is the Dragon Balls. Hand them over! I don't care if you're a Namekian. Just one of you is nothing but a fly to us. You know, this is pretty much true. Frieza pretty much made this a fucking point. And Vegeta did. And it Zarbon. And Dodoria. And every Frieza soldier there was, so yeah. How about you test me and find out? I suppose you don't intend, intend to tell us about the Dragon Balls. Fair enough, we'll get out of you by force. Hey, if we have the Cybermen, right, bring them out! Ha, huh, you really like to play around, Vegeta. God damn it, this is where it was so fucked. These motherfuckers didn't even bother for Oh, shit. That dude came out the ground in the ocean. How is that possible? Give them pain, Cybermen. <laughs> this is Oh, cool, I get a team, alright. Kid Gohan is automatically me, so... Fucking course, I'm gonna choose Piccolo as my teammate. I'll switch it up after a while. I'll get. I'll probably put Krillin in next. Yamcha, you go in last. I'll put Chaozu before you, cause you die too often. All right, so I gotta make my way there. But wait, go defeat. I gotta defeat all these fucking Cybermen. All right, these guys don't get the asses kicked. All right, let me see. Come and grab the fruit. Grab the fruit. Wait, yes, yes, yes. Yay! What does this stuff do? I think it's supposed to use the upgrade your customized characters. That's another reason why you should be playing the story mode, guys, because when me and Paul um, play multiplayer, we're each going to have our own customized characters, so it all depends on who you're going to have that's going to be fucking awesome, and you need these points to become fucking awesome! Yeah! Blue Cyberman. Oh, these guys are kind of cool looking, but green is the original, man, and Piccolo does not like change! Neither do I! Oh, come on, how did he dodge it? Yeah! Yeah, tag team. Student and teacher, father and son, because Piccolo is his real dad. And a fucking B. I swear to God, this game just, just doesn't does not like me. I'm getting perfect with no hits at all, and I'm getting a B rank. Fucking bullshit. Okay, where? I gotta fight each and every single one of these guys. You know what? I'm gonna just this is the last fight. I'm rushing straight to nap after this. I don't wanna have to fight. So many tomatoes I missed. I don't wanna have to fight these guys so often. I mean, if they're not giving me enough. If they're giving me B ranks, I'm fine. I'm kind of pissed about that. It's really like it grinds my gears, guys. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Cyberman. Yeah, Gohan is way strong enough to beat these Cybermen. He should be, because if Krillin could beat all these guys, definitely Gohan could. Because I mean, Gohan got a pretty good hit on Raditz when he was like a like uh, like a chibi. So I'm pretty sure this counts. And fucking B rank. 184 points is really not worth my time right now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot more from doing other missions and stuff. So. Yeah, two Cybermen dead. I'm going this way. Follow the map. Yeah, wait, where's my boost? How do I boost? Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, I confused. I pressed square. I was trying to figure out what the boost was, but it's a circle. And I just confused the living shit out of those guys back there. I don't know how the fuck I did that. Don't know what the fuck I did, but it worked. All right, where's Nappa? Oh, Nappa. Damn, you fucking huge. And you got like a big ass head. Let's go. Mission clear. Defeat Simon. Go after Nappa. <laughs> Finally, the time has come. I'm gonna enjoy this. Stand against Nappa. God damn it. And he's got his own Simon buddy there. Piccolo, shouldn't you be fighting Nappa and I should be fighting Simon? I mean, it, it's only fair. I mean, I don't have my sword anymore. Ah, oh, fuck! I gotta fight Nappa. Yeah. You know, Nappa really still doesn't make sense to me. If he's a Saiyan, he shouldn't have lost his hair that he clearly had in the show. And if he did lose his hair for whatever reason, does this mean he will never become a Super Saiyan? Or will he grow like an afro or like get a mane all of a sudden? Like out of nowhere, will he just grow hair? I don't know. It's it. He even questioned it. I remember in um, Tenkaichi 3, like when Goku, um, not Goku, uh, Vegeta and Nappa are standing there in the, like the versus menu he even asks uh, Vegeta if I go Super Saiyan do you think my goatee will turn gold like it's a legit question what will happen if he turns Super Saiyan but they will never answer these questions because the Saiyans are dead it's yo Piccolo why are you going so hard on the uh, Cybermen dude I mean we're fighting Nappa over here this is way more important yeah a couple combo hits there yep right there and hit kiss kick this eye yeah Come on, Piccolo. How are you losing to us? Oh, fuck. Damn it, Piccolo. I thought she had my back there. And now I got hit. Now I won't get the perfect. If I get a fucking B rank for this shit. And. Ah, yeah, ah, too. I should have done him while he was still in the air. Oh, Sidemen can't come back to life, I'm guessing. Or did Piccolo just beat the shit out of that Sidemen? Yeah. Where's the. Okay, the Sidemen's still flying around. There he is. 
Oh no, the Simon is dead. I'm looking at the map. The blue is the Simon, I guess. He's just dead over there. Pretty fucked up. Oh man, I remember this scene in it. Vegeta actually let them wait for Goku, but as soon as he realized Goku actually had some power to him, he was ready to kill them all. That's fucking cool. Vegeta is still the strategic guy. He's not... I don't know if he has honor, in a sense. Well, yeah, he doesn't really have honor, because... Well, Saiyan honor is different than with the honor I'm thinking of. He doesn't kill his friend because he got weak. That's not honor. But that is Saiyan honor, apparently. But... Oh. Ah, oh, we won. I'm about to beat the shit out of you, Nappa. Just turn, just turn around. I'm about to pimp smack you. Oh, a yes. How do I get an A rank after I do... I feel like I did a shitty job. Ah, that's that's life. That's how it is. You feel like you failed the test, but you come back with like a higher grade than the test you feel like you did perfect on. Fuck life. Stand against Nappa. Okay. You, you. How dare you injure me? Okay, brat. Say your goodbyes. <laughs> oh man, this is Kai Gohan's voice, isn't it? Piccolo. Damn. I was gonna laugh because they did the explosion thing again, but when they showed this, like they, I love what Super does. It shows flat cuts, but cutscenes from original Dragon Ball Z because they can do that. You can't do that in most shows, like in um, uh, America or like in other animes, because apparently like rights and shit are owned by other companies and stuff. But this, it's just like, damn, you remember this scene as a child? It's it fucking hurt. Go on. Da, 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 da. Do you hear that? It's like it, this song, this thing is going perfectly with the fucking beat. Piccolo, why? Why did you save me? What a pathetic end. Aye, the Demon King Piccolo. He he relinquishes that title when he's older. Protecting this brat. It's disgusting. <laughs> uh, Cause you're his real dad. It's your father's fault. His softness rubbed off on me. You mean you're 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 his real dad, right? We all know this. But Gohan. You were the only one who talked to me like a normal person. These months with you weren't so bad. Don't die, Gohan. Piccolo! Aw, oh, man, see? Yeah, he's going nine tails. Oh, wrong enemy. Okay, wrong enemy. But oh, fuck. For a brat, you are pretty... Oh, oh God, Nappa. You're a pedophile, too? Oh, my arm feels numb. Heart attack? Piccolo, I'm sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't avenge you. Oh man, they're about to kill him. When he sees his son's cr Ah, I remember this scene from Budokai 1, where he's about to crush Gohan with his foot. And Goku's over here chill- Goku should've gotten here faster, but he chose not to. He was lacking. He's here. What's with that face? I don't care for it. <laughs> Do you really want me to kill you that quickly? I won't forgive you for hurting my friends! Well, you kinda do, Goku. You forgive them every time. <laughs> a little punk like you can't do anything against the mighty Nappa. Mighty Nappa? Is this is this the reason Gohan started calling himself the Great Saiyan? He heard people give themselves titles: Demon King Piccolo, Mighty Nappa. This no wonder fucking Gohan was surrounded by people who kept giving themselves titles. Of course, he would become a superhero. Start mission, defeat Nappa. All right, let's go whoop his ass. Oh, and he gets to- oh, okay, so we got a badass over here, Goku. You just not- you're not even gonna include Gohan into this fight. Alright, let's see. Alright, Nappa, why- why are you naked? Man, come on. Tien was supposed to cause this shit. Why are you naked now? Oh, well. Oh, guys, that's a strategic move right there. Even One Piece kind of stresses out during the whole um, crocodile arc. When you're fighting multiple enemies, go after the weaker ones first because they can come back and help the stronger ones and make the difference in the battle. So if you take them out first, strategically, you're only left with one opponent and then you're, it's basically one-on-one -on -one at that point and it's perfectly fine to win. Yeah, yeah. Wait, come on, hit him. D didn't even fucking hurt. 
Oh, f oh, that move! I fucking hate that move! That move beyond fucking reason. I hate that move so much. I don't know how to do it, but Paul always used to do it during when we would battle. Fucking hate it! That for you burning in hell now. Oh, you fuck, you fucked up, man. You gonna die. You gonna die. All right, let's go. Let's go, motherfucker. Spirit bomb! Oh, spirit bomb! How the fuck did I have this already? Oh, fuck. I forgot he had a sense speed. Alright, come on. Let's go. Oh, I've been playing Pokemon Go as of recently, guys. I just thought of this in my head. Has anyone caught a fucking Staryu as of yet? I've been looking for one in my house. Staryu is my favorite fucking Pokemon, guys. Just to let you guys know. This is random out of nowhere, because I just saw my phone and I'm thinking of Pokemon Go right now. But, yeah. Staryu is my favorite Pokemon. You guys want to know why? Because of the sound effect he makes. Every other Pokemon makes an actual sound that matches the Pokemon. Him, he just goes, yeah! <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Love that guy. Oh, man. Oh, Nap, are you talking shit now? Oh, you about to get fucked up. KO Ken attack, bitch. Right? Oh, he kicked him right in his fucking face. Oh, well, it's not how it goes in the anime. Usually that attack ends with, uh... Oh, Vegeta's getting pissed. Nap, but you know what that means. You gonna die, man. You gonna die. Yeah. Let me see if this works just like Tenkaichi, where I can just keep punching eternally. Yep, this is how you break the game, guys. Or at least break... Wait, why is he not dying? He's not losing health. Why? Why is this not happening? Oh, shit. Dodge, 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 dodge! Take this, piece of shit! There we go. I was wondering why his health wasn't going down as many punches as I was giving him. Alright, let's see. A rank. I'm not even sure how I'm getting this shit at this point. This is just like college, guys. You don't even know how you're getting good grades. It just happens. Oh, God. That music's kicking in. He's no good to fight anymore. Hurry and take him back with you. Goku's showing mercy, even though he wouldn't forgive him, but he's not an evil person. Goku, you're still kind of cool. I, I really do look up to Goku's character-wise, like how he he reacts in situations. It takes a stronger person to forgive than, a, than to hate. Curse you. Yeah, see, Nappa's weaker because he's, he's vengeful. Vegeta, help me. I have no need for a San who can't move. Die! Okay. Damn, and the music kicks in right at the perfect moment. What a monster, killing his own ally? The both of you, return to Kame House now, Goku talking like a badass. I'm sorry, he's much stronger than I thought. Okay, we understand. Oh yeah, Goku, would you mind changing locations before you fight? It wouldn't be a good damage everyone's bodies before you bring them back to life. Wait, do they even give a shit about the bodies? I mean, they buried them? Yamcha's is in a crater somewhere, like decaying right now. Chaozu's is completely destroyed. Tien's is armless. Yeah, I think a good idea to destroy their bodies would be a probably a better thing to do before they come back to life and become Walking Dead. Bring them back to life, but Kami died when Piccolo did. Their Dragon Balls are gone forever. I'll tell you the details later. That is, if we can defeat this guy. You see, Krillin is smart. He's thinking of strategic things way ahead into the future, like I do. But right now, you're not focusing on the initial problem, which you could die, man. If I can, yeah. Either way, I need to win this. What's wrong, Goku? What happened to all that vigor from early? Why do you call him Goku? You should call him Kakarot. Were you discussing how to best to run away? Alright, then I'll sh move somewhere else and do my best. Literally, there's a huge switch in the terrain that you just have to move one left over. Alright, Goku, I'm sorry that I'm always leave our hands and our fate in your hands. Krillin, just get used to it. This is how it's gonna be. And oh, that music's pretty badass. I love that. Don't die now, my friend. Got it, Gohan. When I get back, let's go fishing or something. Because he has to actually be a dad to him. <laughs> yes. Seem to know there's no point in running. Let's change the venue. Whatever, it won't make any difference. Oh man. This was when one of the greatest fights in DBZ uh, not in anime history went down. And it, literally even wait, survive battle with Yamcha Krillin, Tien Cha Wait, so I gotta replay this just a fight at, with these guys on my team five times? Eh. I'll do that a little bit later. 
We'll do we'll do the these things are called trial stuff, right? Yeah, trial adventure. So we'll do that near the end of the series. We'll get all that stuff. Or I don't know if we should do this. I don't know if we should do that now. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section below which was is better to do it then or like as of right now or to do it later. Anyway, guys, this has been another episode of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next time, we move on to the fucking amazing fight that we all remember. The first fight between Goku and Vegeta. It's going to be fucking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. hope you enjoyed the emotional stuff, the funny shit, and all the, like, the crap voice acting I have to give these characters. Because sometimes they don't even fucking talk and I have to talk for them. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys continue to watch my videos. Please leave a like and a favorite. Uh, share this out to your friends, uh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to uh, Paul's channel, Super Saiyan Paul, subscribe to Unreal Same Gaming, and yeah, thank you guys so much for continuing to support me and all this stuff. You guys are fucking awesome. And as always, stay gold. Peace, guys.